I'm Faber from Rutherford College. Yeah. I'm in year 12 this year. I'm talking about Solo. Uh, so Solo was first introduced to me at year 9, I think, by uh, my English teacher, Ms. Edwards. At first, we didn't really see the point, but then um, she gave us some activities in which we compared different levels of Solo with um, different levels of questions at NCEA. The exercise really helped us to understand what kind of thinking and what level of thinking in terms of Solo that each NCEA question was asking. It helped us to see the different levels, the achieved merit and the excellence. You know, we could tell just from the key words like identify or describe or explain or things like that. That really helped us to understand um, how much the question was asking of us. Whether it was just a simple one word answer or we had to sort of take it deeper or sort of bring it out again. Last year, when I did level one, I was really clear as to what each question wanted of me, which gave me a good grounding to achieve well. With teachers um, using the, the solo um, framework, we have, we've been given the tools to, to achieve and to understand what's, what's going on. It's not all in the teacher's hands, which um, allows us to take responsibility for our own learning, which in turn also gives us sort of freedom, which is useful, and a feeling of control over our own learning.